He is known for being an English botanist, herbalist, physician, and astrologer. He is recognized for his book The English Physician, which is a valuable source of pharmaceutical and herbal knowledge of the time. His name is Nicholas Culpepper. In the realm of herbal medicine and astrology, one name stands out, Nicholas Culpepper, an English botanist, herbalist, physician, and astrologer. Culpepper's contributions to the field are unparalleled, making him a legendary figure in early modern Europe. His book, The English Physician, became a vital source of pharmaceutical and herbal knowledge during his time. It catalogued hundreds of outdoor medicinal herbs, providing valuable insights into their uses and benefits. Culpepper's dedication to his craft led him to challenge the methods used by his contemporaries, seeking a more effective approach to herbal medicine. In his own words, Culpepper described his journey, this not being pleasing, and less profitable to me, I consulted with my two brothers, Dr. Reason and Dr. Experience, and took a voyage to visit my mother nature, by whose advice, together with the help of Dr. Diligence, I at last obtained my desire. With the guidance of these metaphorical figures and the wisdom of nature itself, Culpepper achieved his goal of gathering knowledge about medicinal herbs. His commitment to honesty and integrity is evident in his decision to share his findings with the world, as advised by the mysterious Mr. Honesty. Culpepper's lineage added to his notoriety, with his family boasting notable members such as Thomas Culpepper, a courtier who was rumored to be a lover of Catherine Howard, the fifth wife of Henry VIII. This connection to the royal court further solidified Culpepper's reputation and underscored his significance in the field of herbal medicine and astrology. Nicholas Culpepper's legacy endures as one of the most detailed works on medical astrology and a comprehensive source of herbal lore, reminding us of the profound impact one individual can have on the understanding and advancement of scientific knowledge. In the quiet countryside of Isfield, young Culpepper was raised by his mother and his influential grandfather, Reverend William Addersole. It was here that his passion for astronomy, astrology, and the world of medicinal plants began to take root. With his grandfather's guidance, Culpepper delved into the study of Latin, Greek, and the healing properties of herbs, spending his days cataloging plants in the expansive countryside. At the age of 16, Culpepper pursued higher education at Cambridge, following in the footsteps of his father and grandfather. Although the specific college he attended remains a mystery, his thirst for knowledge and dedication to his studies were evident. After completing his studies, Culpepper embarked on an apprenticeship with an apothecary, eager to further his understanding of medicinal practices. Life took a difficult turn for Culpepper when his master absconded with the money paid for his indenture, leaving him in a state of uncertainty. Tragedy struck once again as his mother succumbed to breast cancer. Determined to rise above these hardships, Culpepper found love and stability in his marriage to Alice Field, a young heiress. This union provided him with the means to establish a pharmacy in Spitalfields, London, where he could freely practice his craft without the constraints of the City of London's authority. Culpepper's approach to medicine was revolutionary for his time. Rejecting the notion that healthcare should be a privilege reserved for the wealthy, he believed that no one should starve to pay an insulin physician. Instead, he relied on his extensive knowledge of herbs and a willingness to personally examine his patients to provide his services free of charge. With his bustling practice and a combination of experience and astrology, Culpepper dedicated himself to the healing power of nature's remedies. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.